Talk Bowling, episode 98. I'm John Jonathan. I'm Tony Rucco. Talk Bowling is proud to be bringing you the latest information from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates on the largest internet bowling website, bowlingball.com. All right. <coughs> All, right. All right. Last question was awfully long. This one's not this quite. This one's a little shorter. I'll read this. Not quite as bad. <laughs> this question is from Miles. Uh, hi, I had a question regarding thumb slugs and thumb inserts. Would you recommend a thumb slug or an insert? I have used both of them. I like the insert a little better. My main problem is that on my back swing is I bend my knuckle on my thumb and it tends to stay in the ball a little longer than needed. So I was just wondering if you would recommend a slug or an insert and also if you had any other recommendations that could help this problem, I would appreciate it. Thanks. All right, in the answer that I wrote up and Tony ended up modifying, I went away from the insert versus slug a little bit because I don't think it's that big of a difference. So much. Uh, you said that an insert is just a pre-drilled. Yeah, and I'll, I'll go into that. I, I agree with your answer. There's, you haven't used both, which makes it a little tough. Um, right. But yeah, go ahead because your part is is correct. My biggest thing is you need to work on the squeezing. You're, you're doing that probably because the thumb pulls a little too big, and I would recommend using tape and maybe protecting tape. Uh, I used to have that problem a lot, and you really need to relax your thumb and try to not bend it. So what I did was start putting the the protecting tape all the way around my thumb. We've done videos on that in the past. And then really just using a piece or two of tape on the inside of the thumb hole to really snug it up. And I don't feel like it's going to fall off my hand at all during the backswing. Mm -hmm. And that's at that point is when you're starting to bend your knuckle, I'm assuming. Uh, I also mentioned here when I'm bowling less, like in the summer, I need more tape because my thumb isn't as swollen. And when I'm bowling regularly, I'll need less tape. So it varies from week to week, sometimes from game to game. Sure. And I say swollen, it's not like you can see this big difference in the thumb. You're talking <clears> the <throat> thickness of a piece of tape or two, but it's enough to make that difference. Definitely. And, and the, um, that's a great example because a lot of people have that issue. They keep their thumb hole way too big and they come flying out and they squeeze. So check out that as well. The other thing, between a slug and an insert, um, Typically, inserts used to be much harder and smoother. It, it was just the, the nature of the beast. It was going to be a pre-drilled, and originally they were pre-drilled rounds or ovals, and to me, they were just always really, really smooth. They were hard, and they were tough to cut uh, from the pro shop end of it. We hated putting them in because they were just tough to cut. You had to trim them and pre-glue them both. It was a pain. Uh, some people, though, prefer that feel. With all the different kinds of thumb slugs now, I don't know that it matters, you know, with, with these hard urethanes that they have now. and. Uh, there's much different, all different kinds of materials now, so I don't think it matters. Outside of which one of those you pick, that's a personal preference. Mm -hmm. I know very, very good bowlers that still swear they need a pre-drilled oval thumb slug. They don't like us cutting the oval, they don't like the material of the slug, so that's what they use. Um, the big issue, if after you do what John says helps a little bit, but it doesn't fix the problem completely, get in the shop and check your pitches. Um, if you're coming out of the thumb too quick, or feel like you're coming out of the thumb too quick, you can be squeezing to counteract that. And a pitch, even though it's something you are fit for, as you get better, as your timing gets better, the more you bowl, the less reverse pitch you need. You don't need as much to help you get out of the ball. Your timing allows you to get the ball to the right point at the right time and get it off your hand. So as you get better or maybe as you're bowling more, uh, you may need less reverse pitch and maybe even move into some forward pitch, uh, which will help you and it'll also relax your thumb a little bit. So check that out. Um, Pitches are fit, but it can be variable. So you can go in, they can easily drill a thumb slug, they can change the pitch, they should change it in small increments. Mm -hmm. Sixteenth, eighth of an inch sometimes can make all the difference in the world. So try that on a ball, take it out, see if it's any better, along with the other suggestion, which is still very good. So hopefully that helps. All right, if you have a question for us yourself, you can email us, questions at talkbowling.com. You can send us a tweet at talkbowling, or you can leave an app, uh, Comments on any episode of Talk Bowling on TalkBowling.com. Exactly. You're oh, getting good to be sponsored, thanks. I'm going to continue. I, uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, this week's sponsor is DB8 Bowling. Uh, DB8 is the newest brand in bowling, bringing you four awesome-looking and awesome-performing balls. The Hellraiser, the Reckless, and two color misfits are sure to prove that DB8 is here to stay. If you have not already looked at their lineup of performance balls, do so today. DB8, tonight we bowl. 
Bowlingball.com has a ball reaction video for each of the balls in the DB8 line, including ball reviews for each. So check those out. Um, they they will be, yeah, and they will be launching full line. I, I, I don't think it's a secret, so uh, they will be launching a full line of, of bags, accessories. It's, it's going to be a full-fledged brand uh, gotcha. moving forward, but they have four awesome-looking balls. You need to check them out. Yeah, the, the Misfit colors. Actually, the colors on all of them are great, um, and they all roll really well as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Kind of edgy, and uh, I think it's good, so check that out. Yep. All right, last week, or last episode's question was, where was the oldest bowling alley in the world discovered, and when was it built? Oh, right, and that was... Uh, they got a pretty big range there. <laughs> yeah, they do. Of course, I don't blame them. I can't really... There wasn't a sign like, hey, this was built in. Established in. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was Madi, or Madai City, in Al-Fayyum, Egypt, built in the... Ptolemaic? Ptolemaic era, between 332 yes. and 30 B.C. So, 300-year swing in there, you know, somewhere yeah. in there. Somewhere in there it was done in mm -hmm. someone's lifetime, or two. Three. I wonder if they have pictures of that somewhere. I'm sure they have. Well, it's probably just like, it looks like a pile of rocks, I'm sure now. And how do they know it's a bowling Maybe some round rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're assuming. All right. Uh, question for this episode. What is the highest average held by a woman over, and, and this was very poorly written, what is the highest average held by a woman over an entire league season, and who did it? Hmm. Did not know that. I, wonder, I think that should probably be home. Whom? No, who did it? Yeah, I like who. All right. <laughs> contest. <laughs> contest. Uh, Bowlingball.com gives a ball away every week. 52 weeks, 52 winners. All you have to do is sign up for the contest weekly. So just come back every week, sign up for that contest. Uh, that rotates between four big, four of the big brands. Um, I think there's one custom type of ball, OTD type of ball, and the rest are all reactive. So check out that contest weekly. And then also every month on BowlingBoards.com, they give away two bowling balls a month, beginning and end. Uh, so all you have to do over there is, is make posts. Every post you make, you get an entry into the contest. So you can talk about bowling, you can talk about league, you can ask questions. Uh, you can do anything having to do with bowling over at BowlingBoards.com. So right. check that out. And just by joining the, the conversation, participating, you are having Right, you don't have to do anything else. Creating entries. Correct. All right, please remember that Bowling.com is free shipping on every item every day. No handling fees, no packaging fees, no additional insurance fees. The price shown on the product page is the price you pay at checkout. No surprises. Every time. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.